Thank you very much, Bryony. And um, on behalf of National Museums of Northern Ireland, I'm absolutely mm, delighted not to hit the mic, sorry. I'm absolutely delighted to welcome you all here to the Ulster Museum today. This is a place that has always been global rather than parochial in its outlook. It's particularly special, I think, for us all to be here today in person after what we've been through over the last two years and to be looking out to the wider world in our discussions. I think the pandemic has also brought a new dimension to conferences such as these, in that it's not just about the people in the room, but we can widen um, debate and participation um, by uh, the people who are zooming in. So you're all very welcome as well. I can't see you at the moment, but you're all very welcome to join us here today. It's also my absolute pleasure to open this uh, extremely important conference and conversation on the subject of Ireland, museums and empire. Museums have a very unique role to play at the heart of today's society. They, to fully unlock the potential of this role, we really must focus our energy on being present and relevant at the centre of the issues that matter most in contemporary discussion and debate. The theme of this conference, colonialism and its legacy and impact on society today, is one such subject. Through the collections we hold in museums, um, the truth of the objects and the stories they tell, we can use our spaces and our places to explore and ask difficult questions, both of, both of ourselves and of a society, building greater social cohesion and together shaping a better future. In the past, the Ulster Museum's global outlook primarily meant collecting to represent other parts of the world here in Belfast. This remains important to us, though now we collect in more ethical, considered and collaborative ways than our predecessors. And global is now about more than collection, and global is now about more than collections. It's about with issues and challenges of international significance and celebrating valuable global networks. Over the next couple of days will undoubtedly be challenging and emotional. I hope they will also be optimistic and forward thinking. Whilst we're all very clear on our ethical responsibilities and the colonial violence and injustices of the past, we also believe that decolonization activity is a positive force for encouraging mutual respect, understanding, tackling racism, and promoting community pride. This work is therefore as much about the present and the future as it is about the past. Here on the island of Ireland, empire is a particularly complex and sensitive subject. While there is great potential to enhance community relations and understanding, there is also an inherent risk of outputs being interpreted detrimentally as anti-British rather than anti-imperial. This is a particular issue in Northern Ireland, given the cultural, political and ethnic pluralism of this place. Great be taken to avoid reinforcing divisive stereotypes of colonisers and colonised, Irish republicanism versus British imperialism, particularly when this is played out, played out against the backdrop of Brexit and ongoing conflict and legacy issues. We must be mindful of different cultural, cultures and identities and wary of continuing to act in, in a colonial, ma colonial manner whilst committing to decolonisation. If the objects in the World Cultures Collection here at the Ulster Museum could speak, they'd be unlikely to introduce themselves as being a colonial object from an imperial collection. Rather, they would explain themselves with reference to the societies in which they were used and the meaning and cultural significance invested in them at their creation. The fact that they've traveled long distances to arrive in our collections is certainly an important part of their story. But arguably, it is more important that we develop respectfully a fuller understanding of the meaning invested in them by those that made and used them and the significance they continue to have in contemporary society to people who value them as objects reflecting their history, their identity and their culture. In this process, we are fortunate to be working with passionate and knowledgeable partners, both locally here in uh, Northern Ireland and internationally. Some of these partnerships are explored in our new Inclusive Global Histories exhibition, which we opened just last week. 
Through our work over recent years on the Troubles and Beyond, we have learned much about curating complex histories and their legacies in a sensitive and inclusive way. And we have built on this practice in the new exhibition upstairs on the second floor. <laughs> I'd encourage you all to go and visit it while you're here, um, as well as listening to my colleague Hannah Crowdy, who'll be talking about it in more detail later on this morning. Working in partnership and co-curating in this way <clears throat> has enabled us to better understand the cultural heritage and context of the World Cultures Collection that we hold. Collaborating with local com communities who have shared their own perspective and lived experiences has been absolutely essential to understanding the ever-evolving diversity of our society, the complex legacies of our past and how together we can build a shared future. We'd, re we'd certainly be really interested to hear your thoughts on our approach, as we hope that we continue to develop and learn as we progress this work over the months and years ahead. The Ulster Museum is a really vibrant place where people can experience both local and global culture and the rich tapestry of stories that objects tell. It is a safe and it is a shared space, and we want diverse voices to be heard and difficult challenges to be explored. For ultimately for us, this is values driven work at National Museums NI. It sits at the very core of what matters to us as an organisation. Showing respect by listening, learning and embracing diversity and multiple perspectives. Working together by developing partnerships and collaborations that help us to understand better and to grow. And being courageous by facing up to difficult legacies, learning from our mistakes and giving a voice to the underrepresented. And finally, as an organisation, we are committed to the UN's Sustainable Development Goals to end poverty, protect the planet and build peace and prosperity for all. We believe that museums can play a central role in civic renewal and as a public forum for exploration and debate on local and global issues that affect us all. Thank you very much. And I now declare this conference open. Um, I'm going to move.